Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how I color grade videos in After Effects. This video was shot using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in D-Log profile, and I'll be using a free LUT that you can also download from the official DJI website. In case you're shooting with a Sony or another camera, make sure to check their official websites to download the appropriate LUTs. Let's begin. First I will apply the Lumetri color effect to my clip, then expand the creative and apply the LUT from there. Let's close the creative for now, since we don't need it at the moment, and then expand the basic correction. I will slightly change the settings to my liking. Note, don't copy my settings, because every video is different and my settings might not work for you. In my case, I like to keep my videos as dark as possible, so I'll adjust the lighting to my personal taste until it looks right to me. I will bump up the contrast to make the dark parts darker in the video. Contrast controls the difference between the light and dark areas in a video, increasing it makes brights brighter and darks darker. Now I will decrease the highlights since I don't want to keep the sky and other bright parts to be as shiny as they are now. I will raise the shadows to make the dark areas on the car more visible. Usually I don't touch blacks and whites, but let me explain what they do as well. Increasing whites you can make brights or the highlights more more brighter and decreasing it you make them darker. Increasing the blacks you make shadow areas brighter and revealing more details, but it also adds a faded film look which I don't enjoy much. By decreasing the blacks you make shadows darker. Slight changes won't harm the video, so let's decrease the blacks and whites since I want my video to be as dark as possible. That looks fine to me, but the video feels a bit warm for me. I'll lower the temperature to give it a cooler look. That's way better, but I'm not done with the basic corrections yet, and we'll come back to this a bit later. Let's expand the curves now. I'll add three points, one for the shadows, one for the midtones, and one for the highlights. I'm going to drag the shadows down a bit to darken the dark areas. Then I'll bump up the midtones to make the midrange brighter. Finally, I'll lower the highlights slightly to tone down the bright spots in the video. I'm done with the curve and now let's scroll down to hue versus hue. With an eyedropper tool selected, I will select the blues or the sky and then slightly change the color of it. Now in the hue versus set curve, I'll grab the eyedropper tool and click on the blue area to select it, then bump up its saturation to make the blues pop. I'm also going to do the same for the greens, just select those trees and boost the green saturation a bit. Let's scroll down to color wheels here and expand them. Here we can control color tones of the shadows, midtones, and highlights. I will make shadows a bit cold. Then I will make highlights maybe warmer a bit. And the same with the midtones. Nice, I like it how it looks now and the next we can expand vignette and make edges of the video darker or brighter. I will decrease amount to make the edges darker and then bump up the feather to make edges softer. All looks good to me, the video is dark and cold. That's the look I was trying to achieve. Let's scroll all the way up to basic corrections and as I said we will come back to it. So here I will play around with the lights, maybe let's begin with the exposure. Then let's decrease the highlights because now brights are too bright for my liking. I will also decrease the shadows a bit, and finally that looks fine to me. This is before, and this is after. The color correction is done, but I also love adding a dreamy look to my videos. I have already made a full tutorial how I add dreamy and glowing look, make sure to check the video in the description. I've saved my settings as a preset, and now I'll apply it to my video to show you how it will look at the end. First let's create a new adjustment layer and then I will apply it. It looks weird until you change the blending mode to screen. Also if it's too bright, we can decrease the opacity maybe to around 60%. That looks better to me, let me show you before and after. In case I want to make slight changes to the dreamy look and make it darker or brighter, I play around with the curves here. Also we can decrease or increase the exposure. Once it's fine to me, I apply a chromatic aberration as well. Let's create one more adjustment layer and then I will apply the preset I have saved and I use all the time. In case the aberration is not enough, I bump up fall off distance until I'm happy with it and I'm done with the color grading. Just the last one thing is left, let's select the clip and under Lumetri color effect, expand creative and let's bump up sharpen to 30. That sharpens the image and helps maintain high quality for social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed my color grading process, I think I have made and explained it as easy as possible for the beginners in After Effects, thanks for watching and like the video please.